in terms of the coverage uh, between Turner and CBS, does Raftery uh, send the receipt for his new glasses to CBS or to David Levy at Turner? Who who does he send that to? How does I that think that's got to become a that's got to be coming our way because the game was on TBS. Mm. And so, I, okay, so I that's, would, I would, uh, that's how it works. Yeah, I would say mm. I, 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 I'm not a, a legal mind by any means, <laughs> but, uh, that's, that's where I, that's what I would say. Where were you working? Mr. Raftery? Well, I was on TBS that night. Mm. Okay. Uh, Mr. Levy, uh, go down to Walgreens and pick up some more reading. glasses. <laughs> <for Raftery. laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it, uh, man. That was uh, that was an incredible Villanova performance the other night, uh, yeah. Ernie. So, walk me through what you think um, needs to be done against Villanova by Michigan tonight. Best you can tell here. Well, well Rich, I'm glad you asked because I do have a, a theory, a working theory okay. here, which I will again be espousing on our two hour pregame show beginning at seven o'clock Eastern time on TBS. Nice. Uh, uh, thank you. And um, so here it is, uh, since we are in Texas, uh, in San Antonio, uh, both of these teams, I think, I think the best case scenario for Michigan is this. They have to play tonight like they played against Texas A&M and hope that Villanova plays like they did against Texas Tech. Uh, because in those games, uh, I mean, Michigan was all over A&M. And, and shot the three ball well, shot 62% for the game, never trailed in the game. Meantime, Villanova against Texas Tech went four for 24 from three. Uh, they shot 33%, still won that game, obviously, uh, won it by 12. But uh, I think that's kind of what it's going to take. I mean, Michigan's going to have to play uh, – uh, I'm not going to say a perfect game, but they got to be really, really good tonight. And they've got to, because defensively they get after you. And so I think if they can, if they can really limit uh, Villanova's threes, uh, then you got a chance. And here's the magic number is 18. Uh, because as you played in that clip, 18 threes made by Villanova in their last game, a record. But you know how many threes Michigan has allowed in the tournament? Get out of here. 18. How about that? Yes, Michigan has allowed 18 threes in the tournament. Villanova had that many in the game the other night. So that's just a little something for you, Rich. Uh, thank you for letting me espouse. My you. gosh. You're, you're, you're the, a uh, chock full the of theory. nuggets. Ernie Johnson. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.